tight, very tight work. This is really impressive ball control. Excellent. This is outrageous, Squish. Played. Thoroughly deserve that first game. Best squash I've seen Emily Whitlock play. I mean, you're looking at someone that's just come off a final in the Elguna International. Trying to make a response here. She certainly will. She's trying to find winners in the front of the court. She hasn't had much success in the back because Whitlock has used that height so well. Every time she's buried in the back, she's just got herself out with height. Well, there's a guess. Really struggling to read it. So encouraging signs here for Whitlock. Well, it's the first time that Gohar has read what Whitlock was going to do in the front, and she was straight on it. Good counter drop, and there's the yellow. So Gohar gets her foot in the door in this second round encounter. Good counter drop. so tight that she had to control that with the frame. Look at that, that's amazing. Oh, what an improvisation there. That was tight on, a, on, the, uh, on the body there of Gohar and she, tremendous pace from Gohar. It's hard rally, very, very hard rally. So, Gohar doesn't even seem to be breathing after this rally. Well, she's not the only one that's been uh, on the end of this quality hitting from Gohar. Very, very highest level. You know, you're looking at former world number two. She's only 21 years of age and when she gets in front and hits this accurately. It's a good play. So Whitlock having a response here in the fourth game. Well played, so very, very good. First round, uh, second round match, first match of today's play. Emily Whitlock producing a bit of a masterclass in the first game and a half. But it was Gohart, who's in tip top form, being finalist in the Elguna International that overcame uh, Emily Whitlock three games to one. into those corners, such accuracy.
Oh, oh that's yeah. nice. That's uh, a real advantage of having those uh, long limbs. Joel King stretching out. Oh, it's in. Oh. <laughs> great, great angle. So King using the side walls well in this first game. So this is where Gillis has got to try and nullify, use the front wall, slow it down. And there, she really cannot read. That's three in a row. And now it's 86. So strong in that area, mid court, forehand side. Natural balance and strength. So, a chance for King to take that two love lead. Be a big blow for the Belgian. Yeah. Well, Joel King, all credit to her. She was down and out. She's managed to convert straight through. Five points in a row, back end of this second. <laughs> really well played. She's been flicking a lot from that corner. And out. <laughs> That's going to be a shot of the month contender. Have a look at this. Wow. Yeah, great shot. Oh, for the fortune. But she deserves a game. She deserves to have a situation where she has a game. I'm not saying she deserves a game and then lose 3 1. Good examples of that in these first two matches. Here's the mobility. She's such a great attitude, Gillis. Trying to fight all the way to the bitter end, but it's now nine match balls. Joel King having to really produce hard working squash in the fourth game to get the result here. 42 minutes, another consistent effort from Naila Gillis. She'll be on the rise, that's for sure. the door, Jerry. He's off. He's left the building. <laughs> nice. The drop of the wrist. Nice. Decision. She went around the wrong way. The ball ran, ran away from Hanny. So good quality Waters game from Waters. Level. 
Oh, nice. That one is a roller. Slam dunk the funk. That was a roller. At the end of the day, you've got to put it together in the rallies on court. Oh, that's so good by Salma. That was a better rally. Looked a bit more aggressive in that rally as well. Head fake to finish. Yeah. Alison Waters manages to sneak that second game. She hasn't missed much around the front. She's been using good variety with her attacks. Been really clinical. And then uh, Laura Massaro. Playing the British Open, it's uh, Alison Walters is the last one left. From that, oh, that's a shot and a half. We saw that yesterday, didn't we, from Hanny? Too good. She's going to review it, but it was too good. It was running away from her. And she's trying to cross across the front, but the ball's passed her. Yeah, I definitely like uh, when she does play this aggressive squash. There's some water. She's got enough experience. Yeah, but she's doing it really cleverly, so she's keeping it predominantly straight. And out. Five, two. Oh, again, the squeeze. Great and shot. Out. What can you do about it? Glued. Probably say the service wasn't brilliant, but it wasn't. He's going to say the saying. So suddenly we're into a five gamer. Now, replica of the water shot two rallies before. Brilliant control from Hanny. Again, the battling English lady. Walters got an opportunity. Well yeah. played, well played. She had to withstand a lot of pressure on that backhand wall, Vanessa. A lot of tight balls. Just in the last two games, come back from behind. Double bounce. Yeah, she's done it. Alison Walters has done it. I've won the bet. <laughs> Alison Walters managed to come back. So the experienced 35 year old. So well played there, Alison Walters, as I say, the last of. <laughs> Nice skills there from Cortese. She's very dangerous around the middle of the court. She Fearless performance here from Cortese, who was over the moon with her victory yesterday. She's backed up brilliantly here. Not a good movement there from Sobi. She's got a lot of work to do. She will get herself sorted, I'm sure. But uh, Julianne Cortese is taking full advantage. Oh, 
Well, a good response from Sobi. Yeah. Ortiz hasn't quite followed up that first game. Well, Sobi's just stepped up the court. I mean, this is what she did in Elguna. There with John. Well, what a turnaround here for South Paul Sobi. She's woken up, taking the game to Julian Cortez. But that was right on target. Oh, that's nice. Well, that was nearly the shot of the day in this well, the shot of the match so far. Too strong an area. She's got to be careful on that forehand side, Cortese. Sobi's strength zone being the lefty. Oh, that's a squeeze from Sobi. Yeah, nice work. Got to withstand some pressure in that rally. Slightly. <laughs> Julianne Cortese still oh. battling hard in this match, not letting Sobi pull away. She's done it. Sobi, front forehand corner. She looks up to the uh, the breeze blocks. Amanda Sobi, breeze block walls here at Manchester. Uh, relief again for Sobi to get through that. It was 33 minutes, but stressful for Sobi, particularly that fourth game. Terrific tournament for Julianne Cortese. A lot of confidence taken from her for this.